yeah hi hello everyone this is shanmugaraj welcome to my channel one of the aims of this channel is to build a global knowledge sharing platform in the domains of agile project management and leadership you can join me and help me with that either by subscribing to this channel or sharing my videos to our friends who are in need of it right so having said that let us get into today's topic currently we are discussing some of the advanced topics in safe 6.0 today's topic is agile testing agile testing is an approach to systems and software testing that develops and tests system in small increments often developing tests before writing the code story or future although traditional development often uses a deferred big batch testing approach test helps elaborate and better define the intended system behavior even before the system is implemented quality is built in from the beginning like agile development agile testing is a collaborative team oriented process all the team members share the responsibility for testing the system the test first approach applies to all types of agile work that includes capabilities futures stories nfrs and code it can even be used for the hardware components of a system in the same way tests are written during coding and acceptance tests for capabilities futures and stories are written during elaboration the just in time practice of elaborating the proposed system behavior also mitigates the need for overly detailed requirement specification and sign offs even better unlike conventionally written requirements these tests are automated whenever possible but even when they are not they still provide a definitive statement of what the system does rather than a statement of early thoughts about what is supposed to do jail testing is a continuous process integral to lean and built in quality agile teams and agile release trains cannot go fast without high quality without constant primary automated testing it is challenging to implement a fast continuous delivery pipeline and achieve release on demand whenever possible that means testing comes first and even test automation in agile testing everyone on the team is a tester using behavioral driven development product managers and product owners collaborate with their teams to create tests for futures and stories developers create tests for code changes using test driven development with these general tests created by their team members testers can focus on exercising edge cases and less intuitive interactions with the system agile testing strives to be test first this approach has many benefits multiple perspectives provide a broad view of the required system behavior and the best approach is to testing it collaboration creates alignment across the team and shared understanding of how to implement the behavior it forces developers to think broadly about a change before implementing it other tests such as performance security and user acceptance are typically less collaborative and more challenging to write first nonetheless developers should still perform these tests early and often to minimize the surprises later in the development let us have a look at the agile testing matrix at scale many tests are necessary to ensure quality tests for code tests for interfaces tests for security tests for stories tests for larger workflows and so on brian marek extreme programming advocate and agile manifesto co-author helped to pioneer agile testing by describing an agile testing matrix that guides the reasoning behind various tests and provides a taxonomy for organizing test this approach was further developed in agile testing 
and extended to scaling the agile paradigm in the book agile software requirements the picture you are seeing here is the agile testing matrix horizontal axis has technology facing and business facing vertical axis has gate development and critic the product and four quadrant covering different areas of testing quadrant one covers unit testing and component testing q2 covers functional testing q3 covers system testing q4 covers nfr testing we will discuss all these attributes in the next slide as well the horizontal axis of the matrix contains business top and technology bottom facing test written in business terminology business facing tests are designed to be understandable by the user written in developers language technology facing tests are used to evaluate whether the system delivers the behaviors the developer intended that is for horizontal axis the vertical axis of the left side guides development by having the development team think about how they will test a story or a section of a code before they write it to find defects or missing features the right side contains tests critiquing the solution by evaluating the system against the user requirements creating tests across four quadrants q1 to q4 fosters a comprehensive strategy that helps ensure quality the quadrant number is arbitrary and implies no priority to creating test q1 represent unit and component test tests are written to run before and after the code changes to confirm that system works as intended quadrant 2 functional test tests for stories features capabilities validate the functionality works the way the product owner or user intended q3 system level acceptance test validate that the whole system behavior meets the usability and functionality requirements these may include exploratory test user acceptance test scenario based test and final usability test because they involve users and testers engaged in actual or simulator deployment scenarios these tests are often manual they are frequently the final system validation before delivery of a system to the end user finally q4 system qualities test verify that system meets its non functional requirements typically they are supported by a suite of automated testing tools such as load and performance designed for this purpose since any system changes can violate nfr they must run continuously or at least whenever it is practical this we have come to the conclusion of this particular video hope you guys got a fair understanding on agile testing we talked about what is the approach of agile testing which is using test first approach lean approach incremental approach and we also talked about the coverage of bdd and test driven development as part of agile testing we also talked about agile testing matrix which is given by brian in four quadrants we covered in almost every aspect of agile testing right so hope you guys uh, I like this kind of videos that helps and improves your understanding on agile and agile uh, knowledge as such your way of working or your way of implementing uh, when you run the agile project right so with that i'm signing off see you in next video